Climate change is forcing us to think much harder about how and where our food is grown. In the Netherlands, a European project called EMR Food Screening aims to support producers when it comes to making that transition. The project's flagship device is a biosensor. While not yet fully commercialised, it can quantify the amount of vitamins contained in cucumbers and other fruit and vegetables in real time. Such information is vital for farmers and food producers as it enables them to adjust variables like humidity to improve the nutritional quality of their crops. Normally, if you want to know how much vitamins are in a vegetable or uh, in, a, in fruits, uh, it takes at least days to have this measurement bag, uh, bag because it goes to a lab and then it has to be sent back. And now uh, you're measuring it with a sensor. It's, it's getting you the right information within, uh, yes, say, within a minute. The biosensor detects food vitamins through color coding. Scientists at Maastricht University have been developing the chemical or receptor part of the biosensor. This is able to determine the precise vitamin content of a piece of fruit. The project cost 1.9 million euros. Half of that was financed by the European Union's cohesion policy. The EMR project includes universities, researchers and companies from Germany, Belgium and the Netherlands. In addition to food producers, the tech should also allow consumers to know the precise nutritional quality of their food. One of the things that you want to know is what, uh, how many nutrients do I have in my food. And you can walk into a supermarket and they say it's healthy, but is it actually healthy? So if you have a sensor that can quickly say, OK, this is the amount of vitamin C that you have in it, then this is very beneficial. Communication and greater public awareness will be key if this agricultural revolution is to succeed. The Brightlands campus, a centre that specialises in healthy nutrition and the future of food, has made that a top priority. We have contacts with all these innovative companies that actually want to do something with uh, getting the consumer more healthy, more aware, but also uh, to help think of new innovations. So we try to gather businesses to join in with the project and to help the project really close the gap to uh, society in the end.